writing, becoming college ready. I teach a transitional English class, and we, we allow those kids to take two English classes their senior year if they have not made benchmark in um, reading an ACT. Um, so this grant will help students who did not meet their ACT benchmark in reading and writing. Um, I teach all the senior English classes and then I teach the two transitional English classes. So there's a problem sometimes with these kids having to take two English classes. It's, it's tough sometimes to get kids who want to read and who want to write and do everything. Um, so we decided to use other Appalachian authors. The students will read about the beauty of the area. Sometimes our kids don't really know about the beauty of the area. One of the big things is that they, they want to leave. As soon as they graduate high school, they want to leave. And I wanted them to see the beauty in our area. Um, so our geographical area sometimes is stereotyped in a negative manner. Sometimes we're our own worst enemy. And we do that to ourselves sometimes. And if all of the wonderful people leave, then what's left. So I want our kids to know that. And I want them to be proud to say that they're from Eastern Kentucky. Um, so Kentucky's definition of college readiness basically means that you can succeed at college. And that is a 20 for reading and an 18 for English. But if a student at Betsy Lane does not meet this, we make them. Actually, they get to. We don't make kids do anything. They get to take two English classes their senior year. And that's tough for them. We're sucking one of their electives. We're sucking one of their fun classes. So I wanted this second English class to be fun, which is tough because not everybody loves to read and write like I do. So at the beginning of the year, I had 21 students in third period and 31 students in sixth period. As of right now, the only, because I have students who have elected to stay in the class even though they've tested out. Right now, I have 10 students in the class and 21 students, and of those 10, only six still need to test in, um, for something, and nine of the 21 still need to test. So four of the 10 in third period have chosen to stay, and 12 of the 21 have chosen to stay. But one of the problems I had with the grant was when kids started leaving at, during Christmas, then I'll discuss that in a moment. Um, sorry, currently only have 15 students who still need to reach a benchmark, which is a big deal. Now, is it only because of the grant? Probably not, because it's a combination of everything. It's a combination of, did they have test anxiety? Were they only one point away and they were having a bad day on the ACT? So there's a combination of everything, but I do think the grant helped a little bit. Um, these are some of the reading materials. We did a couple of excerpts from The Good Brother by Chris Offit and Verna Mae Sloan, What My Heart Wants to Tell. Then we did a couple of short stories. Um, and then we read a lot of poetry because if you can dissect a poem, you can dissect anything almost because poetry's harder to understand and if you can get away from that stereotype. Um, they interviewed family members. They wrote poetry, where I'm from, templates. And then we also did an abandoned farmhouse template. They did peer editing review, and then sustained reading and writing over the entire year. Short passages, longer passages. Um, since English 9091 is technically an elective, I have a little bit of freedom with the curriculum, so I was able to slide in more creative writing. I was able to slide in um, more reading and writing for Appalachian than I would in, an, in an, another English class. One of the big things is making sure that we're ready for the Compass or the Cody exam. The Cody writing exam is writing an essay. So they have to know how to write. It's not just how to pick grammatical errors. They personally have to know how to write. Um, if I focus on smaller passages, the idea of using short stories and poetry will help students be able to analyze and decode readings. The whole idea of the compass and the coyote is they have to decode what they're reading, which for a lot of kids sometimes is hard. So reading and understanding poetry is difficult, but if you can understand the brevity of a poem, then you can understand a longer passage because the poem has to create a punch. So a thumbs up for reading. The grant helped give the students more varied passages because I was able to buy some books 
that I would not have been able to buy otherwise. We had some in-depth discussion about relevant topics. We were able to look at the stereotypes of the area, what it means to be an Appalachian, um, some different customs. Students were able to connect with some of the stories and the poetry. The connection helped them. Some of these students will continue to want to read. Positives for the writing, students need to be able to edit, revise for the English portion of the ACT and the Compass exam. The Cody writing exam involves writing an essay, which most of the time is very persuasive in nature and very opinionated. So there's, there's a difference as far as the on-demand. The Cody and the on-demand are two separate writings, and when we do that, these kids are switching gears their senior year sometimes. So that's, that's difficult to have them do that. So this grant allowed the students to read and write and revise with their peers. One of the big problems that I had were kids leaving at Christmas, like I discussed earlier, because if you've tested out and you leave the class and you get to go to an elective, which is a wonderful thing, sometimes kids have lost their peer editing partner. And when you're doing creative writing and you've built a relationship with a certain person and then that person is gone and you're writing, you know, very personal poetry, then that's, that's a problem sometimes because you've lost your peer editing partner. So um, next year I think I'll do, like if I do this grant, I'll do more front loading in the beginning of the semester just because I wanted to make sure everybody has their own peer editing partner earlier. Um, I don't know, I think writing creatively gets lost sometimes in the curriculum and I love the fact that I did that. I don't think I was able to do enough um, I wanted to do more creative writing than I did. I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to with it. Um, I wanted to bring more to the table. I brought more to the table than I would have if this had been an elective class, but I still kind of wanted to do more. The snow kind of got me this year. There was a lot of days that I missed the second semester. We were missing kids because they tested out, but we missed days of school too, so it was kind of like a double whammy. But we still did, we, I think we did okay with it. Um, we did an abandoned farmhouse formulaic poem, and I don't know if any of you guys have read this. It's abandoned farmhouse poem. We did poetry out loud this year for the first time in, at Betsy Lane. This is a poem about a farmhouse, and everybody has left this farmhouse. So we did a formulaic poem in which they have to pick their spot and then you have to describe yourself using that spot. And we dis this Ted Kusher describes a man using the spot. And this is, it was amazing what these kids came up with. They described who they were using their car. They described who they were using the head of the hauler. And it became something beautiful. It wasn't, so we got to see the beauty in Appalachia because of this. And it was just really amazing what they did with this. Um, so we had a thumbs up for writing. If you're revising your own writing and you can do that, then that's a thumbs up. Because when they take the Cody test, they have to revise. Um, it's not just revising other people's writing. So, you know, you have to be able to teach both sides of the coin. I heard a lot of things such as, I don't think your support is relevant. They need to be saying things like that. It's not just, a, oh, I like what you're doing because I don't want to hurt your feelings. It needs to be, and I, you know, we discuss the sandwich, start with something good, tell them something, and then end with something good. So we discuss that sandwich where your supporting detail seems to repeat themselves. I heard those comments, and a lot of it's about support because support's what's gonna get you sometimes. If you don't have quality support, you're not gonna pass this test. Um, so considerations for next year, I lost some of my students. The end of the year's roster was significantly different than the beginning of the roster, which is a bad thing for the grant, but in the grand scheme of things, we had some college-ready students then, so it's a thumbs up. It's like a double-edged sword. It was, I lost some kids for the grant, but that's because they tested out of the class, which is a good thing. So I can't say it's a bad thing. Um, some of the kids loved the prompts, which were written, and because we were discussing Appalachia sometimes, and we were discussing things that they like to talk about, when they hit a generic prompt on the Cody, some of them shut down because they wanted things that were tailor-made to them, which is tough sometimes. You can't tailor-make everything to the kid and then give them a, you know, 
a test in which, oh, sorry. <laughs> Give them a test in which everything is, you know, not tailor-made to them. Thank you very much. The beeper went off. <laughs>